It's a lovely day <sighs> and very peaceful. Oh, bollocks. P.T. McGarry is here to see that it keeps that way. I forgot my fucking watch again. Ah, he's going somewhere on his motorcycle. No shit, Sherlock. Good morning, Mr. McGarry. Good morning to you, Brian. Are you going to visit Trumpton? No, I'm not. Chigley? Ah, there you go. Good. May we come with you? Thought you would. <clears throat> Please try and refrain from singing all the fucking way there, Brian. How do you? At the biscuit factory, Mr. Fletcher is waiting for Jonathan. Mr. Bell, you have bought us your products, thank you. I hope no problems, yes? No, actually been a very good harvest this year. As always, your stuff's at the bottom, there's a few eggs and milk at the top to hide it. Very clever. Well, we'd better get it unloaded, huh? Do we really need a whistle? It's very degrading. Empty the fucking truck. Seriously, can this bike not go any quicker? Embarrassing. Quicker to fucking walk. Mr. McGarry is calling at the Chigley Pottery. Well spotted, Brian. Hello. It seems to be shut. Useful. Have they not read the script? Hello. That's odd. Annoying. Hmm. That's very odd. Fucking annoying. Ah, here's Winnie Farthing. Me dad's in the garden if you want to come round the back office, sir. What, as opposed to standing out here like a tit on my own? Yeah. Oh, I'd like to stick that whistle right up his ass. Shut up, you'll hear you. So, Mr. Bell, we need you to double the production by this time next year. Problem? Oh, that's out of the question. I can't do that. Well, Mr. Creswell will be very disappointed, won't you? Problems. This is Farmer Bill, sir, one of our main suppliers. Ah, Mr. Bell, finally we meet. And can I just say, your product is the dog's bollocks. Everybody raves about it. Oh, that's very really nice of you to say so, sir, but uh, I simply cannot double my production. I'm Chuck, not... let me just stop you there, Mr. Bell. It's not you can't, you mean you won't. Well, uh... Let me show you something that might just change your mind. I don't... Th Shush, come on. You sound a bit like Michael Caine. Thanks for coming, PC McGarry. I really appreciate the visit. I'll just go where I'm told. Oh, right. So what's the problem? Apart from your beard. Well, you see, my lovely daughter here... Who's still a virgin. True, but turns out does drugs with her mates. I see. Are we talking weed, pills or crack? Luckily, at the moment we're only talking about weed, but it gets worse, you see. Worse how? Well, according to her mates, it's being mass-produced, this weed, over at Cresswell's Biscuit Factory, which is just a front for a drug lord. That's a bit far-fetched. Have you got any proof? I've got letters from the kids, yeah, but they don't want to take it to the filth. I'm mean, sorry, I'm in the police, so I don't know what to do. Please well, look, me. I'll go over there, have a sniff around, see what I can find out off the record. Brill. So my advice is don't get involved. Oh, and have a shave. You are. It looks like somebody stuck a vagina on your chin. There's no need for that, is there? So you see, Mr. Bell, it's just basic commerce. Supply needs to keep up with demand. Therefore, I need you to supply. Look, I do sympathise with you, but I am trying to run a farm, and I've got one giant greenhouse full of cannabis, and if I do any more, I'm going to raise the... Mr. Bell, you are behaving like you have a choice. Mr. Fletcher? Yes, sir? Mr. Bell here needs clarity. Please educate. Allow me, sir, to put it into words that he may understand. Mr. Bell, hmm? don't be a cunt. Or else. Look, it's not about the money, all right? Look, I can't go to prison. I'm a good-looking middle-aged man. And Mr. Big will take me into the showers and he'll make me his bitch and he'll bugger me in my arse and look like a blood orange when he's... Mr. Not Bell, all I'm hearing are excuses. We reward loyalty. We reward it very well. But betrayal... Betrayal? Uh, who are you phoning? He's calling somebody that can solve problems. Make them disappear. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Whatever it takes. You see? That wasn't hurt. I hope my fucking mates can't see me on this. P.C. McGarry is now on his way to the Chigley Biscuit Factory to see Mr. Cresswell. That's right, Brian, which is only a five-minute walk away, but on this motorbike takes you a fucking hour. Gentlemen. Good morning. Right. To what do we owe this pleasure? Nothing, just passing. Hang on. <laughs> fucking hell. Sorry. It's private land, so no offence committed. He will be disciplined, I can assure you. He's damaged them doors. Make sure that comes out of his wages, Mr. Fletcher. Yes, sir. I'm sorry! You're only supposed to drive, not break the bloody doors off!
Would you like to take the freight out tour of the factory? It is most informative. I'm sure it is, but no, not while I've got a hole in my hairy arse. I'll pass on that. However, there is one thing. Go ahead. First thing you notice when you drive in here is the smell. It's like a mixture of, like, skunk and pine, you know? What the fuck is that? It's the sugar cane. We use it in the biscuits. Sugar cane? Yeah, might be. But rumours are rife amongst the Chigley residents. Especially the local potter. Really? Maybe you should invite him for a tour. Put his mind at rest that that's all you are doing here. Of course. And nothing else. I can assure you, all we do is make biscuits. Perhaps I could offer you a complimentary selection box to take. For I've been a police officer. For someone with no mouth, you speak a lot of shit. This potter, you don't live too far away. Get him in. Show him around. Put his mind at rest. And get him off my fucking back. Now then. <clears throat> You better step back. This thing's very powerful. Oh, right. It says in the script. Bye. Bye then. Farewell. Ta-ra. Don't sit down, you. See ya. Christ, that's slow. Still going. That's the slowest bike I've ever Right. Listen, dozy bollocks. This is serious. You find out who that potter is, and you get him here. I want to know what the fuck he knows. Yes, sir. And if he knows too much? Well, this is Chigley. And shit, my friend, happens. Yes, Mr. Cresswell. So, Mr. Cresswell asks Harry Farthing to call on him. Oh, and remember, Winnie, don't touch that fucking thermostat. I've set the heat in, all right? All right, Dad, I promise. See you soon. Remember. Bye. Cost a bloody fortune. All oh, right. Cross, no wonder Mum left. Ah, Mr. Farthing. Good of you to come. No problem. I'd like you to look at these. You have concerns, I hear. I do, yes. Well, let me put your mind at rest. We just make biscuits. Well, these letters say otherwise. Letters from local potheads mean nothing to me. I used to be a pothead. There's no mistake in the smell. It's bloody skank. It is sugar cane. Why are you fucking lying? Why have you got a minge on your chin? This meeting's over. A very important telephone call is made to Winkstead Hall, the home of Lord Belborough. Winkstead Hall? I've already picked the fucker up. Yes. Right, slow down. I can't understand. No, you sound like a fucking chipmunk. So fuck it. Seriously. Why do they do that? Can't understand a fucking word. <coughs> Excuse me, you lord ship. Break it, I can't open this darn window. I've told you before, sir, that's a painting, not a window. Listen, we have a code red. A code red? Well, don't worry about the window, Bracket. Let's go. Yes, my lord. Aye. Mr. Swallow, we have a code red. One hour. Blackett, we haven't had a code red for ages. How exciting! Yes, your lordship. Eyes on the track. Will do. Oh, look! It's Lord Belborough. Oh, the steam train. We haven't even got a car. Afternoon, my lord. A good day to you, Mr. Farthing. I wondered, would you like a ride on my train? I'd fucking love it. Excuse the language. Up you come, Winnie. Careful now. Oh, you're both coming. Uh, um, no problem. Uh, tell me how. Dad, is there a buffet car? What the fuck do you think? Bracket, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe Brian Kent is about to see. Oh, that could be a problem, sir. How so? YouTube copyright law, sir. Really? Sorry, Brian. This is very nice of you. You're very welcome. You've had a very busy day, haven't you? A train drive and a trip to the biscuit factory. How did you know I've been to the biscuit factory, my lord? Nearly there, my lord. Mr. Swallow should be ready for us. Ha! I wonder if he does black it. Does what, sir? Swallows! Ha 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 I really think we should be heading back now, my lord. I've got a shave booked in at two o'clock. Ready, Mr. Brackett. Away you go. That looks heavy. Mr. Farthing, you and your daughter, come here. Just stand there, Mr. Farthing. Perfect. Mr. Cresswell sends his regards. Dad. Let her go. What? Oh, good shot, sir. No problem. Sorry about the mess. It'd probably be worth getting the old jet wash out when we get home, Bracket, and give her a wash down, and then maybe some tea on the lawn. Yes, your lordship, once I've got rid of the bodies. Oh, spiffy. Oh, Bracket, how I'd love to hear Brian Kent sing a song about decapitation. 
Okay, listen, if I've got to drive this fucking piece of shit for the next few weeks, the least you people could do out there is please subscribe. It's a lovely day. Really? And very peaceful. Fuck off. PC McGarry is here to see that it keeps that way. Only if people like and subscribe, otherwise he's fucking off to the pub. Mm -hmm.